Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm very good. Uh, I have to tell you, Ghost is one of my favorite shows on TV, and I, I do not say that lightly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you so, so much. That means a lot. Thank you. So, you know, this season, I've really been impressed. It feels like everything just kind of fits together better. I love how it's been mm. vibing. Uh, what's it been like as an actor to, to return to this character? It's been amazing. You know, um, I feel like we were learning so much more about Sasapis. We're diving more into his backstory and who he is, not just as this, this sarcastic, you know, pessimistic guy, but now he's, you know, this lover and hopeless romantic and really shy, insecure kind of, you know, kind of young man. And so it's been really fun to dive into that. And then also like just getting closer with the whole cast and we're all just like, it's, it's just so much fun. Every day is just like this morning. I was just laughing the whole morning through uh, at work. And so I'm just, I'm very, very grateful to be, uh, you know, working on this amazing show. Well, I love the fact someone described him as, you know, that he's one of the wisest of the characters and, and perhaps maybe partly because he's he's been around the longest or one of the longest mm -hmm. at least what do you describe it as do you, could you say why some people see him as wise i mean I, I i would say he's wise yeah i think he's incredibly wise i think he's incredibly observant and and he died fairly young so he it was kind of still a sponge and still taking in um everyone around him in his in his afterlife and he's just been yeah, just observing so much. And over 500 years, it's a lot. And he's he's picked up on things and seen people's mistakes and been like, don't do this, do that. But, and then we're, we're seeing it how actually he's a pretty young soul as well. And he makes mistakes and he is uh, inexperienced in many different ways. So I do like to talk about how he's this, you know, young, um, young spirit, old soul kind of vibe because he has this youth and immaturity to him, but also he's been dead for 500 years and he's very wise. <laughs> so I think it's, yeah, it's a fun, fun balance to play. Well, especially because like, Hetty, I mean, Hetty has not been around for as long as in that she's the cynical one. So he could very easily have been the cynical one for having been around for so long. <laughs> for sure. I think he does have times of being incredibly cynical um, and then <laughs> other times of being like, this is not helping. You know, um, yeah, I think it, it's it's fun to definitely dive into. Uh, yeah, of playing a character that's been alive, not alive. He's been dead for 500 years um and uh and what that means do you have a favorite episode this season that you could tease or has it already aired already um i will say the tree this episode airing tonight uh, was really special for me because we got to bring back crystal lightning and then we also got to bring um dallas goldtooth uh to woodstone and he he and I have I've known him since 2019 and been such a big fan of his and seeing like reservation dogs taking off and his group, the 1491s, just doing amazing work. Like to have him on set was a dream, dream come true. And to bring this character who he's playing Bob, which is, is a uh, a contemporary native man. He's a Lenape man. Um, and so you know, that was so cool because I wanted to make sure, uh, you know, the Joe, Joe Port and Joe Wiseman and I have been talking about really bringing this contemporary native representation to the show as well, not just showing Sasapis, who's from the 1500s, but also showing that the Lenape are still here, you know, native people are still here. Um, and, and so I was really excited to be able to bring uh, that representation to our show. Well, that's the thing. This show actually for a comedy, you know, to be so authentic is mm. next to unheard of. I mean, certainly we're moving into a new era TV now, I would say. But, you know, what is it like being an actor in, in this amazing opportunity to do something that is, I mean, it is a silly ghost show in some ways, but at the same <laughs> time, it's so authentic. Yeah, I, I really got to give it up to Joe Poor and Joe Wiseman. They have been just these amazing leaders that have been very open to hearing what we have to say. Because usually when I'm, you know, on a show or, you know, especially like being a guest star or working on a film, it's 
it's a little hard for people to listen to you. And then sometimes you don't feel necessarily safe to to speak up, speak up or anything like that, or you don't feel safe about uh, the representation that's happening in the show. And and for me, I, I feel safe so much in our show because of Joe Port and Joe Wiseman, but also because uh, we brought in uh, Joe Baker, who's our Lenape consultants, and uh, John Timothy, who's Muskogee Creek. He's in the writer's room. So like having their voices on the show it alleviates some pressure off me so I don't have to be that I can just be an actor which is my job you know I don't want to be a consultant I'm not a consultant that's Joe Baker's job I'm not a writer that is John Timothy's job like so it's nice that I can just I can just be Sasapis and uh, so that's it's been a dream well you know working with such a large cast is quite unique in the sense that you guys are often all in one scene together uh, what is that like to work with as an actor? Because I'm sure it's it's a little different than most shows. It's a little different. It definitely is. You know, there are times that it can uh, it can be harder when you have that one line and you have to wait for your cue line. And it's like I'm engaged and I'm focused on the scene, but I am waiting for my cue line. And and when we're all doing that, it's but uh, it's it, it can be a little tricky, but it's super fun. And everyone in the cast is a freaking veteran. They're such talented comedic actors and also like uh, they bring the heart as well. And so I've been learning so much from everybody and and I love it when we get the full ensemble together because we just like ping pong off each other and it and um, it's it's effortless honestly now like it's it's just so much fun. Well, and I love this upcoming Halloween episode as well that you know it's such again a different vibe like some of these episodes <laughs> can have such a different vibe between them and yet it's all so cohesive. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what what did. Uh, what did you think of the Halloween episode? Oh, I love I loved working on the Halloween episode. Of course, uh, you know, we got uh, Punky Johnson and Carolyn Taylor back and they're so, so funny. And yeah, it's I love it when there's a big action happening and there's new ghost rules and there's new uh, there's, you know, some new visitors, people that come in. And it's just like this the when the mystical happens it, it gets really exciting and especially when the ghosts are like what is going on i thought i seen everything i have not seen everything so i love that you know i i'm sure you can't say much about this but the idea that maybe at any time one of the ghosts could be sucked off you know what what's uh is that something that you guys think about or talk about or anything like that? No, you know, I think we all feel like they would tell us if we're going right. to get, oh, no, of but, 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 but it's true. Like, yeah, I guess there is always this, this idea that, you know, a ghost could get sucked off, which is a little scary, but um, yeah, it is. It's definitely also super funny to think about from the character's point of view of, I think for so long, all of the, all of the characters wanted to get sucked off. And for the first time, probably in Sass's afterlife, he's like, I am enjoying myself. This is really fun. Like I get to watch TV. I get to smell amazing food. I get to um, just interact and, and listen and observe really hilarious people. Like, this is pretty awesome. I don't know what's beyond. I hope I don't go down. I wanna go up, but like, I'm, I'm enjoying my afterlife right now. So I think it is um, uh, definitely an interesting thing to, to take it as a, uh, from the character's point of view. Well, the last thing I'd like to know is, you know, the fans have obviously spoken so much about how much they love the show. What's it been like hearing from them and what they've had to say about the show to you? It's been absolutely incredible. Like the fan support and love is way more than I could have ever expected. And and getting to really interact with the fans like face to face at like Comic-Con in San Diego, Comic-Con in New York, like that was a dream, dream come true. It's 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 one of those things you you can only feel so much when you see it on Instagram or you see it on um, TikTok and all this stuff. And, and you see the numbers of all the viewers. It's like, oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. But when you really can interact with people and see it and they tell you how much it means to them, like it's it, it reminds me why I do what I do, you know, and uh, so I'm just I'm just incredibly grateful for our amazing fans and uh, and um, yeah, hopefully they love the season. 
Well, it's been great so far. Thank you so <laughs> much for the time. I really appreciate it. it. It's really a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, thanks, Dan. No, thank you so much for having me. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too.